Oops. The following word and announcement was recorded June the 2nd of 2023. Unfortunately, however, it was not posted and so is being posted today, June the 4th of 2023. Sorry for any inconvenience. Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me on my YouTube and Rumble channels once again. Today is June the 2nd of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Before I begin, I would just like to apologize for any background noises that may be a distraction. We are in construction here, and so it is difficult to find a spot where these noises will not be heard. Thank you for your patience in this matter. Another announcement I would like to make is that for the next few days, I will not be posting words. I have a family wedding coming up and children coming to visit from Western Canada, and so I will not be able to make time to record videos. My plan is to resume sometime later next week. A thank you once again for those of you who are leaving comments and encouraging words regarding these videos and the messages the Lord is giving us. My prayer is that the Lord will richly bless those who receive these words because we know it is his intention to speak to us and to encourage us in our walk with him. For those of you who have not yet subscribed and would like to have notification of videos as they come out, please take a minute to subscribe and click the notification bell. In this word today, the Lord is speaking to us about our spiritual walk. We have a flesh walk. We are physical beings living in a physical world that we interact with, but we also are spiritual beings participating in a spiritual realm. When we receive Christ, we are born again with the Spirit of God, and the Holy Spirit dwells within us. As we grow in the Lord, the Spirit of God teaches us and leads us into truth. However, at times our spiritual life may grow dull. And in this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that he is awakening us, that he is bringing us to life once again in those areas in our spirit walk with him. I hope this word will bless you as you hear it today. It is titled, A Spiritual Awakening. I'll begin by reading scripture. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. It all sounds foolish to them, and they can't understand it, for only those who are spiritual can understand what the Spirit means. This scripture verse explains the importance of having the Holy Spirit dwell within us and of being alive spiritually. For only those who are spiritual can understand the things of God. I'll begin reading this word. Run the race set before you. Take on the hurdles. Run to please your king. Do not seek to please men, for this is the folly through the ages and many have stumbled and fallen because of it. Always look to the author and finisher of your faith, 
and run with courage, knowing that your Heavenly Father looks upon you and is well pleased with those who don't give up. Fight the good fight, and you will finish the race, and your reward will be at the finish line. A wind is blowing over the earth, a strong, sharp wind, and it is piercing the hearts of the people. They are not able to run from it, but they are continually being pierced by it, says the Lord. This wind is winnowing out the chaff, and it will continue till its work is done to bring the body of Christ into unity. Rejoice, for your God will come, and you shall arise into fullness of life. There is no other generation that will experience what this generation is about to experience. This is surely a chosen generation, says the Lord, that which was spoken of by the prophets of old. In this generation, all the promises of God will come to pass, and a full revelation of Jesus Christ will be released. The manifest presence of the Lord will cover the earth as never before. The Lord will appear to many and will speak to many. I am on the move to bring salvation to the people of God, says the Lord. Their household shall be blessed, and they shall find food and drink in a weary land, for I am releasing hidden manna that will bring revival to the soul. Food from heaven is being sent upon the earth, and as the people gather and eat of it, they shall be revived, awakened in their soul, and they shall enter abundant life unlike has yet been known to man. In this hour, those who have been living in death will be brought to life. This is a spiritual awakening, and they will rise from the dead. They shall awaken from their slumber and rise up. They shall experience the salvation of their God and be released from captivity. The call has gone out throughout the earth, says the Lord. The trumpet has sounded, and the ingathering of the people has begun. Keep your eyes on the Savior. Follow his lead, for he is taking his people out and leading them across the land. A great army is going forth. Those who come from the north, south, east, and west are all joining with the triumphant procession marching through the land. A great host of God's anointed ones are going forth in unity of the Spirit to take the land, for the glory of the risen Lord is upon them. On this ground, a landmark is being set, and just as in the days of old, when an altar unto the Lord was built to recognize the conquest, a landmark is being posted, proclaiming that this ground is the Lord's. My army shall continue to grow and move over the earth till the whole earth is filled with the knowledge of the Lord, and until Jesus is Lord over all the earth. Watch, and you will see the kingdoms of the world surrendering and submitting to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Every area of the arts and media will be affected, and the Lordship of Jesus Christ will be proclaimed throughout the earth through these avenues of influence. Fear not the fiery darts of the enemy, says the Lord. His time is short. The forces of evil are being overcome in the heavenlies, for a war cry has sounded, and the gates of hell are no longer able 
to hold my people in captivity. I have donned my armor and aroused my zeal. I have arisen and gone forth into battle. I am a great and mighty warrior, and nothing is able to stand against me. Nothing is able to prevent me from moving ahead in my mandate to strike down the nations and rule with an iron scepter. I am dressed in the armor of light, and the darkness cannot and will not prevail, declares the Lord of hosts. I am high and lifted up, and the rulers of this dark world are coming and surrendering at my feet, for they are unable to go on. They are being apprehended, and their weapons and ammunition are being laid at my feet. This is the day, says the Lord, when every enemy shall be put under my feet. So fear not, my children, for I have a great plan and a future for you, and those who put their trust in me will not be disappointed. Just a little longer, and you shall receive your reward, which has been stored up for you, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is telling us, that he is revealing himself to this generation in a way he has not revealed himself to former generations. He is awakening our souls, reviving us, bringing us into abundant life. Those dry and dead areas in our spiritual life are being brought back to life. And we will experience the salvation of our God and freedom from captivity like we have never known before. The Lord is telling us that he himself has donned his battle gear, his armor, and that he is going forth as a mighty man of war to bring the nations into submission at his feet. The Lord is encouraging us to run the race with endurance and not to give up because the time is short and we will receive our reward for being faithful, standing up and declaring the Lordship of Jesus Christ. May we see the day when the arts and the media Join in to worship the Lord and to proclaim His rulership in the earth. May we always look to the Lord and receive the refreshing and the revitalizing as He sends His spiritual awakening. I hope this word today will bless you and encourage you. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you again in the next video. Love and blessings in the name of the Lord. Bye for now.